I'm driving 700 miles across California to deliver two epic PCs to this high school in the middle of nowhere, with a few detours along the way. A few weeks ago, I got an email from Kevin Markison, a passionate teacher running a 3D design and video production class at Modoc High School, tucked away in the rural town of Alturas. Despite having some nice manufacturing gear thanks to old grants, the students' aging pre-builds pose serious challenges in the classroom. At the end of this last uh, school period, uh, I had one kid, he had, he was trying to do a render on Blender and it was gonna be like a 73 hour render on oh. his computer. Oh my God. While it's nearly a decade old, Mr. Markison's own PC is the fastest in the room, and it's shared by 25 students just to get projects rendered. Funding for new equipment is a challenge for high schools, let alone those in small towns like Alturas that are often overlooked. You know, we've got about 246 kids in the high school, and we'll be given a budget for the year. You know, uh, Los Angeles Unified, what do they have, a trillion, uh, I don't know, billions? Billion dollar budget? You know, our district as a whole, this is, kindergarten through 12th grade, our budget is something like $11 million for all of the schools combined. And you know, that's teacher salaries, all that sort of stuff. But for wow. just, yeah, for funding for extra stuff, you know, we have to get creative. After talking with Mr. Markison, I decided to step in. With the help of several brands, I built them a $7,000 workstation, which we'll talk more on later. And thanks to Starforge Systems, I'm bringing a second surprise PC that'll completely transform their workflow. It's time to hit the road and give these students the machines they deserve. Speaking of machines that need upgrades, how about this camper van that I rented? It's a 2004 Ford E150. It's uh, it's pretty rickety. The service engine soon light is on for some reason, and the AC is on the struggle bus. I actually have a mini USB fan right next to me to help it out. But you know, it, it has all the cargo space I need for everything I'm hauling, and there's a bed in the back, which looks comfortable enough to sleep overnight. I just hope we get there safe and sound in one piece. Otherwise, I'll be very glad that I'm a AAA member. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by cdkeyoffer.com. The retail price for Windows 11 Pro is $200, which is insane. You can buy two eggs with that. CDKeyoffer sells it for just 31 bucks, and right now their mid-year sale is offering 25% off everything when you use code BW20 at checkout. That brings Windows 11 Pro down to just $23.70. You can grab Windows 10 Pro for just 17 bucks with the same code, but it's not just Windows. Use BW20 on Office products too, like Microsoft Office 2019, which you can snag for just $53. I've purchased countless keys from this website over the years, and I've never had a single issue. It's a bold statement that I'm confident saying on record because it's 100% true. The checkout process is fast and you get your key instantly. I honestly can't remember the last time I activated Windows a different way. Again, everything on the site is 25% off right now. So click the link in the description and don't miss these once a year deals from cbkeyoffer.com. Big Sur. And right off the coast is the Bixby Creek Bridge, one of the tallest single arch bridges in the United States. It's pretty sweet. We're in the middle of a rainstorm right now. Lightning and thunder everywhere, oh my! Speaking of lightning, how about we talk about the PC I built for Modoc High because it is lightning fast. Oh, see what I did there? <laughs> I can't stop using Lee and Lee cases cause they're so beautiful and well optimized. The O11D Vision with the PCM on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That glass top panel looking fresh. It does come with a bracket if you want to put fans at the top, but I like it like this. AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D, the new hotness. 16 cores and 32 threads. Now with 3 dv cache for extra gaming chops. Although they probably won't be gaming on this much. I don't know, Markison might be playing Minesweeper on his off hours. The motherboard is the MSI MPG X870E Edge Ti Wi-Fi. Fully loaded, Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigabit Ethernet LAN, USB-C ports at 40 gigabits per second, a super easy board to build with, easy DIY features like the Toolist M.2. Speaking of which, Corsair MP600 Elite M.2, this is a two terabyte drive. We've also got 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator Titanium RGB DDR5 6000 speed. Cool in the CPU is Lian Lee's latest Hydro Shift 2 LCD, an absolutely gorgeous 360 millimeter liquid AIO. This cooler doesn't come with fans, it's BYOF, 
So I'm using Lee and Lee's new wireless uni fans. Oh my gosh, it's really coming down now. My goodness. Powering the system is an RM1008 from Corsair. And last but certainly not least, the Asus ROG Astral RTX 5090. What a freaking honker. I I'm actually shocked I was able to get this card. Shout out Asus, they really pulled through for this one. It's not the gold edition, it's not made of pure gold, but it's still, I mean, Astral 5090, the holy grail of gaming GPUs. My God. It's not white like the rest of the build, but it's an Astral 5090, who cares? The other PC from Starforge Systems isn't quite as absurd as this one, but it's still pretty high end. A 7800 X 3D, 32 gigs of DDR5, and an XFX Radeon RX 9070 XT all inside of the NV5 from Fantex. I'll put a link to it, as well as all the parts for the build that I put together in the description script if you want to check it out. But without further ado, our next stop is, where, 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 where are we going? MacArthur Bernie Falls Memorial State Park. That's where we're headed for the evening. We're gonna do a waterfall hike. It's gonna be awesome. And then we'll go back to the campsite, which I have reservations for, so that I can sleep and camp in a proper, legal, safe place, not a Walmart parking lot. But I'm excited. For what? For starters, there's trees. I've been driving for freaking days without seeing a single tree. Okay, there's been a few. But the desert, driving through the desert in Central Valley, it lacks trees. And now there's so many that everywhere you look, there's a million trees. I, I disagree with people saying, you know, complaining about deforestation and, oh, they're killing the tree. They're killing the trees. We need more trees. We're almost at a tree. Bull Take a look at them, we have plenty of trees. This is how far away we are from having a low tree problem. If I offered you a dollar for every tree on this earth, the last thing you'd say is, well, that's just not enough. That's just, well, what is that, like five dollars? Oh, you give me like three to 39 cents with hardly any tree. Hmm. We got plenty, we got plenty of trees, too many trees. In fact, if I get near a tree on this trip, I will cut it down. All right, let's see if we can find my campsite. I'm campsite night. Please take me along when you slide on down. 15. Oh, we're getting close. 17. 18. There it is. Our she blows. Ho ho! Yes, this is all mine. <laughs> For the next 12 hours. We've reached the trailhead. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Actually, though, much more impressive in person than in the photos. Wow. Made it to the base. Holy Toledo. It's a lot bigger than it looked in photos. It's not Niagara Falls, but it's still 129 feet tall, which is pretty impressive. The pool at the bottom is only 22 feet deep, and it has a daily flow of 100 million gallons. I don't know why, but this reminds me of a water-cooled build that I did once. All right. It's been a long day. Have a good night, my dudes. See you tomorrow. We have made it to the town of Alturas, where our high school is located. And my, 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 there's not much going on here. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it, it's starting to make sense. When Mr. Markerson told me that he was able to get round up 10 students to go to class on their summer break, I thought, how is that possible? How do you get students to go to school on their summer break? Cause there's nothing to do here. What else are they gonna do? Smoke a cigarette at the Modoc County record? Come on! It's not cool like Los Angeles, where you can do ketamine and have a different nose every week. Final pit stop before we hit the high school, just down the street. Rubio's Mexican restaurant. Got the breakfast burrito. With carne asada. Carne asada. Oh, oh my God. I have this condition. I just realized I have this condition, debilitating condition, where I can't stop eating Mexican food. And every day I pray to Jesus, they never find a cure. I finally arrived at Modoc High, where Mr. Markison and his students gave me a warm welcome. I had the chance to see their projects up close and hear about some of the incredible things happening in their classroom. Oh, yeah. Joseph here, um, yeah. uh, with his disability, he's been using the class for the last four years to make things to make his life easier, accessibility. We had an esports team a few years ago, and Joseph wasn't able to pull the left trigger okay. on an Xbox controller. And so he designed this apparatus that hooks onto the controller and he's able to use it with his other hand in order to pull that trigger. That's amazing. The students were clearly doing amazing work, held back only by a bit of limited computing power. So when the time was right, I took out the Starforge PC, claiming it was the system I'd built for them. They were excited, thinking this was the only PC they'd be getting. But no one was prepared for what came next. 
I gotta level with you guys. I haven't been fully honest with any of you. Uh -oh. Even you, Mr. Markison. I'm a little scared. This is not the PC I built. This is a pre-built from Starforge Systems who dedicated and donated this build to your classroom out of the kindness of their hearts and for proper product placement. The PC that I built you. Oh, that's an AC car. No more messing around. It's at least a 50. Guesses on the GPU, final answer. What do you think it is? 50, 90. That's going to be 50. 40, 50, 90. 70. It is, in fact, oh. an RTX 5090. Holy crap. The CPU is an AMD Ryzen 9950X 3D. Oh, wow. So it has 16 cores, 32 threads, and pretty decent single core performance. So it'll be great for SolidWorks, Blender. That's absolutely beautiful. Like, yeah. I got goosebumps. Look at this. I think this is light. It might be the best computer in this school for a long time. In this town? In this town. In this town, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's wild to think all of this started with a single email from Mr. Markison. The odds of me even responding were slim, but he cared enough about his students to try and subsequently beat them. The odds, not the students. Teachers like him give their students a real fighting chance, and the ones I met today gave me real hope for the future. Seeing more of their work left me genuinely impressed. I realize I'm nowhere near as smart as a high schooler but thankfully, I'm still just as mature. <laughs> this is the content I should be making. Yeah, <laughs> this blows away everything I've ever done. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Night with a pistol is wild. That looks really sick. <laughs> Jorking it? Whose algorithm? Whose feed is this? Busted. <laughs>